Max Weber's The Institutionalization of Authority, Unveiling the Dynamics of Authority Structures. Max Weber, a pioneering German sociologist and political thinker, explored the complexities of authority and its institutionalization in his renowned work The Institutionalization of Authority. In this thought-provoking work, Weber delved into the mechanisms through which authority is established, legitimized, and maintained within various social and political contexts. This video examines the key aspects of Weber's concept of the institutionalization of authority, its implications, and its enduring relevance in understanding power dynamics, understanding authority and its forms. Weber's exploration of authority begins with a classification of its three fundamental forms, traditional authority, charismatic authority, and legal rational authority. Traditional authority relies on long-standing customs and norms. Charismatic authority stems from the exceptional qualities of a leader, and legal rational authority is based on formal rules and laws. Weber recognized that these forms often coexist and interact, shaping the intricate tapestry of authority in societies. The Process of Institutionalization Weber delves into the process of institutionalization through which authority gains stability and permanence. He examines how authority transitions from being based solely on personal qualities to becoming embedded within established structures and systems. This process involves the creation of bureaucratic organizations, legal frameworks, and hierarchical structures that facilitate the exercise of authority and ensure its continuity. Legal Rational Authority and Bureaucracy Weber places a significant emphasis on legal rational authority and its connection to bureaucracy. He identifies bureaucracy as a hallmark of modern societies, characterized by a clear division of labor, hierarchical organization, and adherence to formal rules and procedures. Bureaucratic structures serve as instruments of authority, allowing for the efficient administration of complex systems while minimizing the role of personal whims and biases, legitimacy and consent. Central to Weber's analysis is the concept of legitimacy, which refers to the acceptance of authority by individuals and groups. He emphasizes that authority must be perceived as legitimate to effectively govern and command obedience. Legitimacy can be derived from tradition, charismatic qualities or the belief in the legality of rules and procedures. Consent of the governed is a crucial factor in maintaining authority over time. Challenges and potential pitfalls. Weber acknowledges that the institutionalization of authority is not without challenges. He identifies the potential for bureaucracies to become overly rigid, leading to a bureaucratic iron cage that restricts innovation and adaptability. Additionally, charismatic authority may wane with time and legal rational authority can give rise to alienation and depersonalization. These pitfalls highlight the delicate balance that must be struck in authority structures, legacy and contemporary relevance. Weber's insights into the institutionalization of authority have left an indelible mark on the fields of sociology, political science, and organizational theory. His exploration of authority forms, legitimacy, and bureaucracy continues to inform discussions on power dynamics, governance, and the role of institutions in society. In an era marked by evolving governance structures and shifting power paradigms, Weber's concepts offer valuable insights into the challenges and opportunities inherent in authority systems. 